by that, if you've just tuned in, I'm talking about President Biden's half-hour address on television, which we listened to in the last hour. We're getting your reaction to that now. Robert is in Chiswick. Hello, Robert. Hi, good evening, Ian. Evening. Um, I wasn't sure who President Biden had just undertaken the biggest rewrite in history when, until I heard your last guest, uh, Malcolm, the author. I mean, the two of them together, it was as if um, Biden has not, absolutely no responsibility whatsoever. I mean, I, I listened to the speech, I'll start with the positive. One, it was delivered quite well. I thought he had a bit of, little bit of kind of uh, character about him, which we haven't seen so far, a bit of passion. Um, but after that, I was just stunned by the kind of lack of responsibility that he was taking. He was blaming Trump for everything that went wrong, whilst claiming credit for everything that had, under, in, in his eyes, gone right. Um, it was as if he wasn't vice, pre- vice president under President Obama. Um, I mean, was, was he asleep during those eight years? Um, did, did he kind of agree with anything that Obama did? I mean, uh, and the, the, the fact is that at the end of the day, he's just undertaking the biggest arming of a terrorist group, uh, be that the Taliban or ISIS-K that the world has ever seen. And uh, we end up with a situation whereby Afghanistan is now under exactly where we were 20 years ago. So we have achieved nothing thanks mm. to the way that he's managed the exit. It could have been managed differently. There were choices. Um, the air cover, as you mentioned to the to Malcolm, he decided to pull the air cover overnight, which meant that the, air, the Afghanistan forces had no cover that they were expecting. In, 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 in that type of warfare, they, they're going to need cover. Air cover could have blasted, blasted um, the Taliban convoys, etc. So... I just don't. I just. I just thought it was a, an amazing speech, full of full of hypocrisy, full of blaming, um, but at least it was well delivered. And at least, I can, and, and I agree with you in terms of this being a, a crucial issue. I think this is along with COVID, the end of the long 20th century, the beginning, the beginning of the future. I mean, there were, I totally agree. It's an event comparable to the Berlin Wall falling, and I really, really do think we're, we're in changing times now. It's the end of American hegemony across the world. And I think it's a very, the world is a much more dangerous place than it was uh, six, six, eight months ago. Yep, I totally agree with that. Uh, Robert, thank you very much.